Hello again, this is Sam with Blind Shell. Today we are continuing our tutorial series on the Blind Shell Classic 2. And in this episode, we're looking at object tagging using the NFC tags. So NFC stands for Near Field Communication. And that is just a technology that's built into the Blind Shell Classic 2, which allows you to assign either text or audio messages to these little tags. These are called NFC tags. These tags are basically little stickers. It has adhesive on the back. You peel it off and you can stick this tag onto anything. Some very popular items to attach these tags to uh, would be medications, spices in your kitchen, cleaning products in your house, anything that you're going to need a little help identifying, you can use these NFC tags and the Blind Shell Classic 2 to label. So I'm gonna show you how it works. First, we need to navigate to the object tagging feature on the phone. So we are on currently on the home screen here. We're going to press down. Call one of seven to get into our main menu. Now I just wanna press either the up or down arrow here to navigate to the applications. Messages, two of contacts, three of applications, four of seven. There it is. Now I'm gonna press the okay button. It's also the answer call button, which is the second button down on the left and it has a little green dot on it. I'm gonna click that to navigate into the applications menu. Mm -hmm. Internet browser, one of eight. Now, once again, I want to either click up or down until I find the vision aids. I'm gonna click up because that will be faster. App catalog, vision aids, seven of eight. There it is. Now, once again, click the green OK button here, second button down on the left to get into the vision aids menu. Beepers, one of five. And now I wanna look for NFC object tagging. NFC object tagging. There five it is. And I'm going to click OK once again. Three tags, one of three. So it says it has three options in this menu. The first one is read tags. Let's go ahead and see what those other two options are. I'm just going to click down on the directional buttons here in the middle. Add tag, two of three. The second one is to add a brand new tag. Tags list, three of three. And the third one is the list of my already saved tags. So let's go back to read tag. Read tags, one of three. There we go, and I've already programmed this tag. So I wanna show you guys how it works if you're going to be reading a tag. I'm gonna click OK. Approach the tag to the back of your phone. So they give you a little information there. It says approach the tag to the back of your phone. So the NFC reader, the technology, is built into the back of the phone. And if it helps you orientate where that is, it's right around the Blind Shell logo. If you're not able to see that logo, it's about an inch down from the SOS button here in the middle. So if you feel that button, you just wanna go down about an inch and that's where the logo is. So all you wanna do is take your tag and you wanna place it face down onto the back of the phone and you should hear a beep. And then if that tag has already been programmed, it's going to play the message. This is just a sample tag. There you go, and it played the message. Works really, really well. Okay, now let's put this one aside and let's get a brand new unprogrammed tag and let's show you guys how to program a new tag. Very easy. First things first, I'm gonna push back to get into our main object tagging menu. The back button, second one down on the right, it has a red diagonal line on it. Three tags, one of three. And now we want to go to the next option, which is add tag. I'm gonna press down on the directional button here. Add tag, two of three. There we go, now I want to click the okay button. Approach the tag to the back of your phone. And this is the same process as reading the tag. We just want to place this tag on the back of the phone, or if you have the tag stuck down on something, whether it's your spices or your cleaning products, you can place the phone down flat onto the tag. This tag is not used yet. Add tag description. 
Type object description, one of two. And it tells us that this is indeed a brand new tag and hasn't been used yet. So we can go ahead and add a description to it. We can type out a description if we would like, if we're comfortable doing that. We have another option though. I'm gonna press down on the directional button here. Record object description, two of two. And that's to record an audio description for this tag. And that's the one I wanna do, so I'm going to click OK on that. When I do click OK, it's gonna tell me that I can go ahead and record a message. I'll hear a beep letting me know that it's listening. I will speak out loud my message, and then there will be another beep letting me know that it's heard me and it's saved my message. Record a short description now. This is just my second sample tag. Description saved. Add tag, two of three. And there we go, it saved our description and brought us back into our main object tagging menu. Now we have a third option in this menu and that was our list of tags. So let's go in there and see what that looks like. I'm gonna click down on the directional pad. Tags list, three of three. There it is, I'm gonna click OK, which is that second button down on the left, the green circle. Recorded description one, one of two. This is just a sample tag. So that was my first tag, and it said that was the recorded description one of two. So that means my second tag is also in the list. I'm gonna click down. Recorded description two, two of two. This is just my second sample tag. Now, if I want to interact with these recordings, these descriptions, I can click OK on the one that I want to change. I want to edit. Edit description, one of three. So I can record a new description if I would like. Delete tag, two of three. I can delete this tag. Play tag description, three of three. Or I can play it again. So let's go back. Recorded description two. Go back two again. Two. Tags list, three of three. And just to show you guys the process once again, let's go ahead and read this tag. I'm gonna click down. Read tags. Read one of tags, three. there it is. I'm gonna click okay. Approach the tag to the back of your phone. This time I'm going to put the phone down on top of the tag. Move it around if it doesn't get it right away. This is just my second sample tag. There we go, and it got it. So that is a quick look at how to record and label NFC tags with the Blind Shell Classic 2 using the NFC Object Tagger. If you would like to learn more about your Blind Shell Classic 2, please visit our YouTube channel and view some of our other tutorials. If you'd like to learn how you can get your own Blind Shell Classic 2, please visit our website, www.blindshell.com.